Coming up on today's episode, I'm showing you what I eat in a day on the starch solution and I'm giving you five tips on how to stay on track when you're eating this way. Let's get to the intro. Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Ads. I'm Joey. We are a whole food, uh, vegan cooking channel. We try out new products. We're doing the starch solution. Sometimes there's a, a DIY video, maybe some baking with Tim. If you like what you hear so far, please hit that like button. Show us some love. And please think about subscribing and becoming part of the Plant Based Ads family. If you've been following us for a while, then you know I'm on the starch solution. The starch solution is a way of eating where you do high carb, whole food, plant-based high carbs, and low fat, and it helps you lose weight, and I've lost 25 pounds on it. I really love this way of eating. So today I'm gonna to show you what I eat in a day on the starch solution, because you guys seem to like these videos, but I'm also gonna give you five tips on how to stay compliant on this diet. All right, so the first tip I'm gonna give you on this is eat when you're hungry. The way the starch solution works is uh, you eat till you're satisfied and you're only eating compliant foods high carb whole food starches, low fat foods, and then vegetables that are non-starchy. But if you're hungry between meals, let's say you had breakfast at eight, right? And then you had lunch at noon, and you're not having uh, dinner till six, well, that's a six hour span. You should not go hungry. At three o'clock or whatever it is, make yourself another meal. Make yourself a second plate of lunch, or make yourself the first plate of dinner that you're gonna have later when the family's around. Just make sure, again, it's a half high carb whole food uh, starch, right? Uh, and then half uh, non-starchy vegetables. All right, tip number two. When you're eating your potatoes or uh, some of your other uh, starches, you can absolutely use condiments. For instance, I like to make those oven fries, right? I cut the potatoes up, we have a video on this. I cut the potatoes up, I throw them in the oven, I heat them up, and they're ready to eat. And they're like, I don't wanna say steak fries because I'm a vegan, but they're, you know, wedges, right? And then I have a little ramekin of barbecue sauce or ketchup and I dip it in there. Now I don't go crazy with that because those things are full of sugar, right? But you can absolutely have some condiments. What you need to avoid is like mayonnaise or anything with fat in it, but ketchup and barbecue sauce are fine. The big thing with the sauces is they have to be oil free. If there's any oil in them, this isn't gonna work. Tip number three, avoid having cheat days. Avoid having foods that are not on the starch solution. Once you do that, it's really hard to take it from a cheat meal or a cheat day or a cheat week and get back on track. The starch solution is full of great foods. You eat till you're satisfied every single time that you eat. So it's not like when you're on <coughs> keto, <coughs> when you can't have so many things that you want, right? And you're like, oh man, this Saturday, I'm eating pasta, right? There's none of that. So you know, the idea of a cheat day and the starch solution, you really wanna stay away from that if possible. All right, tip number four. If you're having a bread or you know, a sandwich or whatever, opt for whole grains instead of white flour. You know, get a grain bread that's made of all grains, or we have uh, recipes on the Baking with Tim series where Tim's making his own bread every week and that's what we're eating. And it's just made of like three ingredients, salt, uh, flour, uh, and a, a sourdough starter, right? Um, there's nothing in that bread other than those three things. There's no fat. So I use that for sandwiches. So you wanna stay away from anything white and processed. If you're having rice, have brown rice, the white rice, I know it's so much better. I know white rice is so much better, but go with the brown rice. You got enough uh, stuff on top of it, you're not gonna notice the difference. So go with whole grain items, not white flour items. And tip number five, join our Facebook group, Plant-Based Ads Start Solution Enthusiasts. Here's what we're doing. We're posting our meals every day, if you want to, not a requirement. We're doing a challenge, a 21-day challenge, which we're well into it. We'll probably do another one after it's over. There's a lot of support, um, a lot of great people. If you like, really want to get into this, but you're not sure where to start, do the Facebook group. I ain't going to try and sell you anything. I'm not trying to change you in any way. Just leave all your politics and all that stuff at the door. In the group, we're all the same. Plant-based ads, starch solution enthusiast. You can see it right here on Facebook. Send a request. I'm the administrator. I'll uh, approve you. And it's only people who are on the starch solution or, or are interested in the starch solution in some way. You're absolutely going to love it. 
All right, so I'm meeting a lot of great stuff today. Some of it you're gonna see for the first time, unless you're in the group or are following my Instagram, you may have seen some of the photos from when I was making this. It's a great way to eat, and I'm loving the food. Let me show you what I had today. All right, guys, for breakfast, I put two cups of plant milk in a blender. Then I added three tablespoons of chopped dates, which is about three medjool dates. I added a dash of turmeric. This is just for color, so if you wanna leave it out, you can. I also added a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. I put the top back on the blender and blended it up till it was smooth. I poured the mixture into a bowl that was big enough for dipping bread. I used some sliced sourdough bread left over from Tim's homemade bread recipe. It's absolutely delicious. I got the bread nicely coated on both sides and then I dropped it onto a hot non-stick skillet. I sprinkled some cinnamon on top. Once it started browning, I gave it a flip. I added some more cinnamon on the second side. Once it started browning, I flipped it again to brown the cinnamon that was on that second side. Then I continued on with the process. Once I was ready, I plated up the toast. I added some fresh sliced bananas, some sliced strawberries, a little compote of maple syrup, and I served it with some oven roasted squash. Breakfast was ready to go. For lunch, I grabbed some of the tofu scramble I had food prepped from the previous weekend. Check out the link above for my tofu scramble recipe. I tossed enough of that on a microwave safe plate for two tacos. I am using two oil-free corn taco shells shown right here. I heated the shells on a hot skillet for just a few seconds on each side. Then I laid the shells out on a plate. I added the microwave tofu scramble and then topped it with a little bit of oil-free, fat-free barbecue sauce. You can use fat-free plant cheese if you want, but I didn't have any. Then I folded up my tacos. I added some broccoli salad made with the starch solution tofu mayo from the book. You can see a link to my broccoli recipe right here. If you're using this recipe, substitute the regular vegan mayo for tofu mayo. And the melon is really good right now, so I tossed in a little side of that. I topped it with a little bit of cilantro for color, and this lunch is ready to serve. For dinner, it was a stir fry. I threw some broccoli in a heated skillet. I added some water for sauteing. Remember, we're not using oil. Once the broccoli was hot, I added some sugar snap peas. You can use whatever vegetables you have. Soon it was time for peppers. Then I added some spring onions. I also added in some grated carrots. Then I mixed it all together. I also wanted to add some frozen peas in, so I threw those in also. Remember you're using water to saute, and you're sauteing on a much lower heat than you would with a regular stir fry. So add water as needed and don't let the veggies burn. Mix everything together to blend. Once everything was hot enough, I added some fettuccine style noodles that I had cooked earlier in the week. They were leftover noodles that I had reboiled to get them hot and they kind of broke here as you'll see. I made this recipe three weeks in a row and the first two times I made it, that didn't happen because I used fresh noodles. So you're probably better off just opening up a new package of noodles and using those instead of reheating older noodles that you've already cooked. Then I added four tablespoons of soy sauce and one tablespoon of maple syrup mixed in a little bowl. I tossed everything together and started plating. A quick note about this dish. I made it in the last two weeks and added an eighth of a teaspoon of sesame oil each time. This time I made it without the oil. There really is a difference in flavor without the oil. Dr. McDougall does use sesame oil in some of his dishes in the Starch Solution book but he keeps it to one eighth of a teaspoon. This was really good without the oil, but it didn't taste like a restaurant dish like it does with the oil. So you can decide if you want to use it or not. I didn't use it at the time and I was fine with it. For dessert, I made some banana ice cream. I put three frozen bananas in a fruit processor. I made sure to slice the bananas into small slices or coins so the blender wouldn't get clogged up. I added one tablespoon of dark cocoa. Then I added one chopped medjool date. I threw in one half a teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter cup of plant milk. I blended that all together. I stopped to scrape down the sides, and then I blended it again until it was smooth. You can see here, it's ready to go. I like to scrape the ice cream into a container first so I can toss it in the freezer for 30 to 60 minutes to firm it up a little bit. But you can absolutely eat it just the way it is. Then I plated it up, and this was a healthy, guilt-free dessert. So what did you think about my meal today? Hit that like button, show us some love. What's not to like? If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Become part of the Plant-Based Dads family. We have new videos every Monday. Leave a comment below on your thoughts on this food. What are you guys eating today? All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.